the container you're driving to is your entry to the American Muscle Playlist. In a few minutes, you'll enter the world of muscle cars. Beware, you may never want to leave. Muscle cars are more than just a 70-year-old car trend. It's an entire chunk of the American car culture. To tons of people, muscle cars are the epitome of what a vehicle should represent. Allure and power with some crucial tweaks and just the right amount of outside-of-the-box thinking. Cars in their fullest might and glory. There's no standard definition of a muscle car. They are sometimes described as American-made two-door sports cars with a powerful engine. But that's a little reductive, don't you think? Others define them by their V8 engines and rear-wheel drivetrains. The truth is, muscle cars are a philosophy. It's a creed more than anything else. With such an aura, no wonder American Muscle is one of Motorfest's flagship playlists. Wanna experience it for yourself? Well, good news, we're almost there. Dream. It's punch it or punch out. No way around it. Don't expect the first event to be a warm-up. Things will get tough real fast. But you'll be backed up by one of the festival's closest partners, Jim Hayfield, a rock star among car collectors. That's not a figure of speech. Jim's an actual rock star who just so happens to own one of the greatest muscle car collections in the world. He's the person lending us all the cars you'll drive during this playlist. And he's got quite the lineup. No one's better suited to give you advice on handling these jacked up cars. So he'll also be in touch with you as you race. No pressure. The tag's right there. A heartbeat, the song of a V8, music on. Turn up the volume if you dare. I'll be tagging along. That is my car you're driving after all. All right, let's get straight into it. Rock on! I'm here 
because my boys at Motorfest needed the best possible lineup for this gig, and just so happens, I got the greatest models you can ask for in my garage. Here's the drill. I provide, you drive. That's one lap. Don't get shy now. Every car you'll use in this playlist are part of my personal collection. But hey, that's okay. This was my idea, so don't get all nervous about it. These ponies are made for rough handling. No matter how fast and harsh you drive, they can take it. And I've been told, you know your way around cars anyway. No sweat, just go. Whether you're a muscle head or you're just here for the Discovery Tour, it doesn't matter. If you're into cars, you're gonna love this. Just listen to that V8, like a chonky, down-tuned guitar riff. Another lap to go. You got the path memorized? Then punch it. kind of reminds me of Jackson, Wyoming. I played there a couple of times. You know, feel good, small town kind of vibe, mountain ranges. I know, we're in Hawaii, but the mind wanders. Gotta say, I like the climate here better. That's it, fire it up. Looks like Motorfest didn't BS me about you. driver, new challenges lie ahead. You can't talk about American muscle cars without talking drag racing. The two are pretty much intertwined. Muscle cars became popular during the 60s. At the time, they were mostly rear-wheel drive cars made from affordable everyday vehicle bases, but equipped with powerful V8 engines from much larger machines. One of the goals in making such performance-focused cars was covering a quarter mile as fast as possible. Can you guess which motor racing sport is about going all out for that very distance? Indeed, drag racing. There's a strip real close. A proper try is better than a thousand words. Racing time. Don't overthink, just burn and fly. Right on! Well, now that was some run.
you here. is far from over. Muscle cars are a call for freedom. The freedom to turn an ordinary car into a vehicular marvel with a state of mind far away from luxury brand strategies and pricing and the freedom you feel from actually being behind the wheel of said cars. A feeling deeply organic and yet intangible. But Jim should be much better than I am at conveying emotions. He's human after all. one of those outrun type of events. Drive fast, hit the checkpoints on time. It's just like that rad game from the 80s. You digging the soundtrack? It's the spot, right? mixtape we're listening to. Meshes well with the sound of the engines, you feel me? I couldn't put you through a muscle car ride without some proper riffs, could I?
finish big. This gig's all gravy for you, am I right? Running through the money, but the money's gone. I don't love it, but I need to keep it coming on. Only friendly me and friends. Congratulations, driver. On to the next one. Before moving on to the next freedom-infused event, we're going to make an extra stop. We have a little surprise for you. Although in this case, little may be a poor choice of words. Just head towards the beach and you'll understand. We're real close. trucks need monster beats. I've got the perfect hip-hop jewel for this crowd. We're taking over that gig. This giant obviously won't handle like a regular Mustang GT. Lucky for you, this is a two-lap race. You got one lap to find your footing and one to feed your opponent some dirt. up in the late 70s, mostly just for showboating. They only really became a thing in the 80s. Man, that decade truly was something. They made it through the first lap. Time to crush and destroy. Real American monster trucks are used in two types of competitions, freestyle stunt and racing. Given Motorfest's racing DNA, we obviously went for the latter. Don't be afraid to use these bank tramps. Ready for takeoff? Yeah!
quite a show. Dubbing the mixes I'm mixing, I know I've been missing, I needed some personal time. Full of pictures, the mixes, I don't want you to do this, I mean it, I'm staying inside. What a win! The first of many, I am sure. I hope you enjoyed that treat, driver. This playlist wouldn't be complete without a proper taste of the American showmanship. Now, back on track. We're heading north for a race through the swamp this time. Don't worry, you'll still be driving a muscle car. The Mustang GT from 2011 is waiting for you as we speak. Except this unit is custom made for off-roading. Jim's passion for muscle cars is not restricted to asphalt. That man would drive muscle cars on the moon if he could. We're closing in. When you spot the wind turbines, it'll mean you have arrived. Your opponents are already there. Go on and join the melee. jump like the devil is after it. Third and last turn of that swamp cruise. Go for it and don't be afraid to get your wheels dirty. Hold on to your saddle, cowboy. So good. Don't listen to me. Just listen to this and knock some teeth out. Straight line. Use that nitro.
Well done. Let's move on to the following event. We're keeping pace. The next event is just a few minutes away. The frantic race that goes from the coast to the countryside with an unmistakable Californian vibe. Your next car is one of the most recent entries when it comes to muscle cars. The 2020 Mustang Shelby GT500. Your opponents do not stand a chance. Shelby GT500 is a bit on the modern side. Let me tell you, these cars have come a long way since their first appearance. Used to call them hot rods back in the 50s when greasers just started putting large displacement engines called big blocks in cheaper cars. The techs evolved a great deal since then, but one thing is for sure, the same thrill that drove people to push boundaries back in the day is what's still driving us now. Straight across the roundabout. Don't bother slowing down. Base, and that's it. 
being a motor best legend. A new reward is waiting for you within the activity menu. What a win! The first of many, I am sure. We're going up now, driver! You got the toughest cars, so let's take them to the toughest spots. Face to face with the island's guardian. I'm talking about the volcano, of course. Remember when I told you Jim would drive these cars on the moon if he could? Well, this is as close as it gets. Once again, a Mustang GT specially tuned for off-roading is waiting for you. This car is your best chance to make it through that David versus Goliath kind of trial. See it in the distance. It's waiting for you. giant one more time. What a badass shot. I'm getting flashbacks of my drive. 
drives through Arizona. Good bunch of volcanoes there, too. And long, winding roads that disappear into the horizon. the following event. I believe it is safe to say that so far this playlist is no picnic. You may even think that we've already seen everything there is to see about muscle cars and assume it can't get more intense than this. Well, hold on to that thought. We're going for a ruthless showdown way above the speed limit and way beyond your expectations. Plus, it's a chance to see just how far muscle car customization can go and how cool it can look. One of 
the highlights of my collection. It calls to me in my sleep, it does. And it doesn't take no for an answer. Closing in on the finish line. Don't you flinch now. job, but the journey is far from over. You now know muscle cars have been around since the second half of the 20th century, but somehow we get to get you one of the classic oldies. Well, with Jim's request, we decided to catch you on the fly and save the origin story for the grand finale. There's an absolute classic heading your way, a grail among collectors and Jim's greatest pride, the Mustang Boss 429 for the centerpiece of American muscle car history. show. Let's get loud. You're driving my number one car, the star of my collection, the 1969 Mustang Boss 429. Name speaks for itself. One of the oldest muscle cars. Still one of the greatest, too, honestly.
second lap, but no second guessing. Keep it real. The boss is an icon. It shaped the golden age of muscle cars from the 60s to the early 70s. This was one of the top dogs. The age when these cars stopped being called hot rods or drag racing cars and became muscle cars. Even though the hot rodding mindset had been around since the early 50s, it wasn't until the 60s that the term muscle car popped up, embodying an entire generation's rebellious state of mind. At that time, if you were into muscle cars or just into cars in general, the place to be was Detroit. Man, ever heard of Woodward Avenue? renowned street for car duels back in the day. Proper charge. Show them who's the boss. your reward driver. The muscle car spirit can be described in many ways, but nothing speaks to it better than a head-on encounter with the chrome itself. I hope you've enjoyed this wild experience to its fullest. As much as Jim would have liked to stick around, his expertise and passion are already requested elsewhere. But he left a special note for you. It says, never thought riding passenger could be this much fun. Keep on rocking. Yes, hope you'll dig the souvenir.